I'm going to sit down in my new chair and I want to talk about something that's been on my mind and something that's been in the comments for a really, really long time. So, uh, no, push me this way. There we go. <laughs> there are a couple of videos where I talk about loneliness and in my comments, I would get men basically telling me that I would be happier with a couple kids and to s just settle with a husband. And as a woman, if you were a woman watching this, you might know the amount of times we get this particular comment, this sort of obsession with settling down, uh, specifically settling down and having kids. So I wanted to make a video challenging that notion, whether we should settle down or not, and why we shouldn't. And maybe I'm looking at it through a lens, more of a human lens rather than the gender lens. But to me, it's kind of counterintuitive for people telling me that I would be happier with kids and a husband and to just settle down when literally the notion of settling down basically forces you to be unhappy with a situation or with a partner or with a person. You kind of just are expected to just be with anybody. It's a very old school way of thinking, right? That's why a lot of red pillars constantly talk about, you know, wanting traditional wives again. But the reason why a lot of women now have difficulty settling down or getting into relationships is because women have higher expectations from men. Back in the day, traditional women, they didn't have to work. They didn't. They were financially dependent on another man. But now, because women are working, we have a lot more expectations for our male counterparts, specifically needing an emotional or spiritual connection to another human being. For some reason, Men have gotten so used to the way that they were raised, the way that they were treated, that for them, like any type of emotional intelligence above the regular norm seems absurd. So for me, when I, I'm in my videos commenting about loneliness, I'm not talking about a partner necessarily. Because a lot of people feel lonely in their relationships, in their marriages. That's why there's such a high divorce rate. All of these older men, these millennials, these baby boomers are in my comments essentially telling me to settle down when the divorce rate is fucking skyrocketed. Because women have been settling down. They've been dealing with less than. Now we have women in high positions in the workforce being this masculine energy, yet men refuse to have any sort of, of empathy or understanding or a sense of openness to the ways in which society has changed. But no, because you're a woman, your prime is between 20 and... 25 years old and then once you're past your prime oh you're fucked and in a certain way yeah women are fucked over the age of of 35 you can't have kids and then there's a lot of messed up things about the body but rather than coming from a sense of understanding from our male counterparts to be like oh yeah this is like a really real issue what can we do to help Instead, you're, you're berated for not settling down. And settling down, in, in the term, the definition, settling for less, why on earth would you, would you spend your one life, your, 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 your one life, this life that you've been gifted, for anything less? And that's not just for women, that's for men as well. 
why would you why would you settle for anything less than than what you want you have one life and yeah are there women that are gonna end up alone sure and are women or men gonna be miserable because they haven't found their their partners yes of course because of course we strive for relationships but how shitty is it to be with somebody and to tell them, oh, yeah, I settled for you. This is as, as best as I can do, so. Meh. You're not my ideal, but I'll deal with you. And for those people that are like that, that's a choice. And if you want to make that choice, you want to make that choice. And there's a risk. There's always going to be a risk, regardless what type of relationship you want to be in. Whether you're staying single in hopes of finding the one, whether you settle down, whether, whether you are single, there's always a risk. There is a risk in everything that you do. But the reason why women don't want to settle down or why women aren't interested in relationships as much as anymore is because they can provide for themselves it's true women have a higher emotional maturity than men higher levels of empathy and now they have their own careers where they can sustain themselves buy houses for themselves women can have larger communities more friends socialize more so yeah of course women don't want relationships because they want something from men as well because now women expect more than just a man who provides money and of course there are going to be some women that obviously want that but in general women are looking for a more emotionally connected person one that's empathetic understanding who displays those masculine energy, energies, but also has a deeper level of emotional intelligence and willingness to change. So if anyone, anyone's going to tell you to settle down, you make that decision. And you have to be aware of the consequences and the risks. Because yes, you could settle down with somebody that you're not too, too happy with. Have kids and still have that resentment in the back of your mind eating away at you. Or you could wait around for the perfect person and never get that person. But in the end, it's your choice. There's a risk in anything and everything that you do and I've seen all walks of life be miserable whether they're married whether they're divorced whether they're widowed whether they're single by choice whether they settle down I've seen everybody miserable in their situations and you know who I haven't seen that's miserable People who have found their soulmates, people who have found their one. Sometimes life doesn't go the way we expect. So whether you should settle down or not, that's your choice. And to anybody who's in the comments of any video, not just mine, of women who are just speaking their mind and being open-minded and being honest to how they're feeling, and your solution is for them to get a man or to get or to get married and have kids. If only you were a woman. Maybe we could talk then. Anyways, that's it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.